no matter what you, the horse sees, what the horse is unsure about, he needs to let me control speed and direction. Okay. So my last video of Woody, he kicked in my spur and balked and said no and threw a little temper tantrum. Let's see what he does this time. Walk, just walk him out here, tighten the saddle, walk my circle like I normally do, get your mind on me. See, his mind is kind of all over the place. I'd really like for his mind to be on me before I get in the saddle. That usually goes a long ways towards keeping me safe. He's looking at the guy working in the cleaning up over there. Now let's see. Uh, see what he hap what happens, what he does when I go step on the step. This is the same bit I rode him in in the last video. It's uh, the low pork grazing bit. I do have a different saddle on today. This saddle is actually little small for me but I want to see how it fits him who I think somebody shortened his stirrups all right somebody changed my stirrups I had to adjust my stirrup length let's see if this is right I'm not exactly sure where they were this looks like where they've mostly been so it's probably right or close to right got a little dry skin in his mane I need to work on that this afternoon yeah, that feels a little closer. Walking off, I'm gonna get his head to the side. I've talked about that before with horses walking off. In fact, I just worked, just recorded a video of uh, the paint horse and her not wanting to stand, which she actually did pretty good in the video. The problem has been pretty bad. And I worked her different than I'm working him. Because it's a different horse and a different stage of learning. Let's give him a stop again. And the other thing is, is this horse wants to balk and stop. So I'm going to handle it different for him because of his other problems. If I just constantly, if, if I chose to work on or really concentrate on standing still at the mounting block now and reinforce that standing still the balking that you'll probably see later when we're going forward i'm probably going to be making that worse so it's a matter of deciding what i want to work on and time and working on the right thing at the right time i just did a blog article about getting a horse from green broke to foundation trained and I talked about the, the six areas that you need to work on. And all six of those affect each other. So uh, I'll put a link to my website somewhere on the video if you want to go look at it. So right here we're walking. I'm walking my circles. I let him go a little bit more forward than what I probably usually do because of that wanting to balk and stop. Get a little more forward. I've been trying to get forward in this horse. I think this saddle might fit him a little better, but it doesn't fit me quite as good. We'll see. He's looking around, looking to the right. I'm gonna steer over here. Steer over here. The other day in the video, he was spooked at the traffic like that, and I really don't think this horse is spooky. I think it's an excuse to act up. So I'm going to fuss at him for it. And if he is genuinely a little spooky, if he is, let's try it, if he is genuinely a little scared. I'm still going to fuss at him for acting up. Because that acting up is unacceptable and will get me or somebody hurt. Let's go. This is that balk I was talking about. 
an unacceptable behavior is still an unacceptable behavior even if it's a behavior like spooking that you need to work on that you need to help the horse with it's still unacceptable I'm still gonna fuss at him for him spooking in a car going by that's part of right thing easy wrong thing hard to teach him to look for the right answer the right answer is to ignore it so that's what I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna reward and if I get a different answer I'm gonna fuss at him another car coming let's keep going he kind of shied that way I gave him a smaller bump kind of shied that time I need to turn him out here and there's traffic going by <laughs> we have a fire truck down the road it'd be real upset fire truck went by license irons going you need to get over that got a fire station down the road I think I said fire truck got a fire station down the road it's uh, actually not far <laughs> quarter mile maybe interesting fact that I learned not too long ago the county that I live in has the largest volunteer fire department in the state of Mississippi I thought that was kind of interesting but anyways back to Woody here as you move around he's kind of counterbending a little bit so while I'm asking while I'm working his forward working on his bulk working on his spooking the cars it's all working together. I'm also working on his body. <laughs> he counterbends to look at the car. I'm going to fix his body. Keep going forward. Keep going forward. He has been balking at my spurs. My sp right there. That that transition was him pushing into my spur because I'd given him a little squeeze to push him up into the bridle and he quit going forward that we've got to work through I think this horse has the ability the physical ability to do some stuff not sure what we got mentally to work with we'll see he needs to get over that resistance that balking Unacceptable. Let's go forward. Put him back to work. I see scolding him. He actually went to work pretty good. It's winning the little battles. I have the low pork grazing bit on him. I'd have to jerk on it really hard to really actually hurt him. But I can let him know, uh, he's balking at my spur again, but I can let him know that something's not acceptable without actually hurting him. Right thing wrong, or right thing easy, wrong thing hard. That's all that is. So many people are afraid of making the wrong thing hard. You don't make the wrong thing hard, you end up with horses that don't mind doing the wrong thing even when that wrong thing is potentially dangerous pushing into my left spur that's been kind of the ongoing theme with him pushing into that left spur there he got off that time basically what I'm doing here is I'm trotting him around I'll ask for some bend I'll ask for some counter bend he knows everything that I'm asking for it's not a matter of teaching it to him right now what I'm working on is his his mental willingness to do whatever I ask now my car coming give me something to do there we go that was better he slowed his forward when he heard the car I believe about the same time I heard the car I gave him something to do with my left rein left leg rode on through it that's the direction I'm working towards when he 
hear something or see something that he's not sure about, I want him to turn his ear to me, which his ears is back to me pretty good, and ask me, what are we going to do about this? I cannot de-spook him, desensitize him to everything in the world. But what I can teach him is, when he is not sure, ask me. And then do what I ask him to do. That is why him reacting to the car going by is not acceptable. That's the wrong behavior. The right behavior is turning an ear back to me to see what I ask him to do about it. That's the right behavior. This actually is much better than last ride I had on. And uh, if you saw the video of Dancer acting up, she was really bad. Uh, let's go forward. She was really bad. She's in season. Well, he is the one that she's been flirting with. So that's got him kind of all riled up. Even though he's a galvan, it still has his mind someplace besides me. Right rein, right legs, his head's up, he's pushing, he's wanting to look. I want a horse to listen to me and let me control speed and direction no matter what is going on around them. I need that if I'm going to show the horse. I need that if you're going to trail ride the horse, shoot off the horse, police horse, anything. No matter what you, the horse sees, what the horse is unsure about, he needs to let me control speed and direction. If I control, oh, got to get a left bend there, pushing into my left right, spur again. If I can control speed and direction, we can do anything. And kind of going on the point I've mentioned once before, a trainer cannot put anything in a horse that's not there and a trainer cannot take away what's already in a horse all a trainer can do is bring out more of what he wants and suppress down more of what he don't want that's really all a trainer can do and that's really all I can do with him if he has if he does not have the mental or physical capacity to do what I want him to do I can't make that happen. All I can do is try to bring out the ability that's already in there. This is actually a pretty nice ride on him. Let's go back to the right. Through my middle, circle to the right. Getting a little smoky. We're burning a pile of debris in the pasture back there. So got some smoke around. Car going by. Handle that okay. Spooking at the first car of the day and then being okay with the rest is not acceptable either. If the rest of the the ten that follow the first are not spooky. He don't need to spook the first. Let's go back to the left. This has been the problem. Side. There we go. Get off my left. There we go. Really don't care how high or low his ears go. There we go. Huh? Yeah, I really don't care how high or low his ears go. But I want his nose, his chin brought in, and shoulders up. So walk him just a little bit. I'm actually going to quit on that for today. That's one of the nicer rides that I've had on him out here, getting him to get off of my left leg. So this is Woody. I'll put a link up here to his playlist on YouTube. Until next time, thank you for watching.